Hello everyone, welcome to another Quad Education Test Prep Fundamentals video. My name is Tom and today we're talking about an SAT writing question type with a refreshingly simple solution. That question type is combining sentences, so let's take a look. Okay, so combining sentences. Like I said up top, this is going to be a refreshingly straightforward solution. And first of all, the way we spot these combining sentences questions, well, they're always going to have the same prompt. And that prompt will always be, as you can see here, which choice most effectively combines the sentences at the underlying portion. So that's why we call them combining sentences, because we're combining some sentences. And the next part here is how do we solve them? Well, here I've taken a combining sentences question completely out of context and asked you which of the following is the best. And so really exciting here, 98% of the time, basically every time on the SAT writing section, the correct answer for combining sentences questions will be the shortest answer. So really refreshing news. You almost don't have to read the context around these at all. You should just for the sake of being thorough, but basically all the time it's going to be the short one. So without seeing any sort of proof for this question sample that I've given you here, the answer is probably going to be read this this without any of the other words and if we take a look at the context here actually associated with this question the street is a sea of red the traditional chinese color of luck and happiness if we just take away all this and all these other things this is perfectly good and this is the best answer the shortest answer so that's the lesson if it's combining sentences pick the short one save yourself some grief especially when they give you much longer options than this i've seen instances where this is three or four lines long for each of these sentence corrections it's going to be so much better if you just look at which one is the shortest one and see if that works so if that shortest one doesn't work then look at the second shortest one and see if that works and work your way from shortest to longest even though you're basically only ever going to be working with the shortest one because most of the time the shortest one is correct and so we've got some examples of that now Give these couple of example problems a try and see how you do. All right, let's take a look. So here you have a pretty long sentence, but let's see if the shortest one, which looks to be the last one, let's see if that works. So we've got Jefferson Pooley and Michael Sokolow. I'm going to go ahead and skip this big positive right here. Take a look at our video on positives and clauses as to why, but Pooley and Sokolow argue that the newspaper industry sought to discredit the newly emerging technology radio which was cutting into newspapers profits by portraying the new medium as irresponsible yep that's just fine these other options and tried to do this it's a little bit redundant by which the newspaper industry portrayed uh not really by which which it is that and that's not going to work either so shortest answer works just fine all right here's our next one see how this one goes okay let's take a look at this one all right, so we've got a couple of intervening clauses that I'm going to get out of the way. First of all, this one right here, which is the title and location of this person. Next, we have this little parenthetical that I'm just going to read away, so I don't have to go through the Latin. And so this sentence is going to read, Julian Hume has long been troubled by the misunderstandings surrounding the scientific community's knowledge of the dodo, a large flightless bird, and then some stuff. So it looks like our shortest answer is going to be A, so let's see if that works. A large flightless bird that was endemic to the Indian Ocean island of Mauritius and likely went extinct by the year of 1693. So, yep, that works as well. Um, bird, a bird, a little redundant, which was endemic to the Indian Ocean. Here, the dodo, redundant. Bird endemic to the ocean, one on, on that island. That's just kind of awkward. So once again, second time out of two, shortest one works. And one more here. Let's see if it's three for three. And let's take a look. In 2015, the Greek government decided not to pursue legal action against Britain. And then looking at our answers, it looks like instead of opting, and then we have this one, which is slightly shorter. Let's see if that works. And so let's see how that looks. In 2015, the Greek government decided not to pursue legal action against Britain, opting instead for continued diplomatic efforts. That's great. Instead of opting doesn't exactly say what I think we're trying to say. This is redundant. And which opted instead, we don't know what which is. So shortest answer once again works. Okay, that's it for this video. So, like I said, refreshingly simple and straightforward solution to combining sentences. It's just 98% of the time the shortest answer, and then the rest of the time it's the second shortest answer. If you found this material useful, we hope that you will like and share the video and subscribe to Quad Education. If you require any sort of tutoring, please reach out to us. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.